Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to reset an Android phone. This is actually a Nexus 5 running Android 4.4 KitKat, but most are fairly similar. There are some differences depending on if they're running TouchWiz or if they're running HTC Sense or whatever you might be running on those phones, but for the most part, they're in the same general area. Now let me show you first, you wanna back up. So you wanna to go to your settings, you'll pull down from the top drawer or just go to your settings. And once in your settings, you'll probably want to do a backup if you're going to use another phone or maybe just want to restore this one. So you can do a factory data reset, which is the easy way to just restore the phone. But before you do that, you want to just make sure that everything's backed up. As long as you have this checked, the backup my data, it should be backed up. Now you can go to your backup account and set that but stop backing up Wi-Fi passwords, bookmarks, etc. You can shut these options off or turn them on however you want, but when reinstalling an app, restore backed up settings and data. On your next phone, you just check that. So if you do want to reset that, again, you're going to simply go to your settings. Once you're in your settings, you're going to scroll down to backup and reset, factory data reset, reset the phone, Put in your unlock pattern, erase everything. It will power off, it will cycle, and everything will be erased when it comes back up. It's really quite simple, and I'll let you see what it does here, but it's really quite simple and pretty straightforward. The little Android appears, it says erasing, and then everything will go back to like it was when you first turned it on. Pretty simple. The little Android ears are moving, that's kind of cute. Now everything's erased, the phone reboots. You can see it says Google. And the Android operating system begins to boot up. The first boot up of the Nexus 5 always takes a little while, so you may experience the same thing on your phone, whatever you're using, whether that be something from a Moto X, a Nexus 4, all the way to a Samsung Galaxy S4. It's going to vary depending on your device, but overall the first boot takes a little bit longer. And that's it. Everything's rebooted and we're back to as the phone was when you first picked it up. If you have any questions or comments regarding a reset, maybe you're having a little bit of problems or you just want to see something else, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.